Oh shit, I gotta eat. Hold on, before I eat anything here, I... there was... Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. Shit. There was a food item in one of these houses. Oh, I could just grab an apple. There we go, but... I want to see if I can grab an MRE in here. Speaking of um, subscribers, I do have a plan to roll out uh, monthly goals, monthly subscription goals. Um, at a certain amount of subscriptions each month, I um, I will do such and such. So I have prizes. I'll give away fr anything from giving away a pile of Dixper crates to doing um, an eight-hour stream, um, collab streams, party game streams, uh, and... I have a couple of big, big reward uh, things that I think I'm going to wait to roll out because I'm very excited about them and I think people will be too. Because I think, I think subathons are awesome. Um, the unfortunate thing with subathons is that they are, um, they're like a one-time thing. And... In trying to to grow the channel, I want to see if there's a way that I can help encourage, like, consistent subscriptions. And part of that is, um, I mean, there's, there's a million things that go into it. I know there are plenty of people who would sub if they had the money, and that's, of course, you know, completely understandable. But also, viewership is often down in the summer, um, and I just, I need to work on getting... I, I genuinely can't open this door to getting more um, more exposure. Yeah, I I just can't open this door. Okay, all right. So I'm I'm gonna stop sweating this. <sighs> I think we may head further inland. Um, fuck it. Let's just go. And I believe, if I look, I want to look at something uh, on my desktop. I want to see what what number stream this this is. Because, uh, let me go to more than a Mia. Let's go to videos. Let's go to highlights. And if anyone... Um, is planning on or thinking about ever uh, doing VR streaming. Desktop Plus is what I'm using to look around my desktop while I'm still in VR, and it's amazing. All right, so yes, this is the 11th stream. So I think, I feel like we have gotten a good look at this game. And I think I would like to go out with a bang. I think I might call this call the the playthrough as much as i like to be a completionist um it doesn't feel like we're we're 11 episodes in and it doesn't feel like we're seeing a lot of new new information uh it also seems like we are continuing to get more storylines and it feels kind of like there's no end in sight and I, I feel like we've gotten a good look at this game, and I would like to move on. But we're going to do it in a big way, because I am going to go out swinging. I've done it again. Ronan, you got me stuck on a fucking cliff again. Ronan! God damn it! Ronan! How do I get down? 
How do I get down from this fucking cliff? That's it. I would love to jump, and they won't let me. Okay. Hold on, that's actually kind of pretty. Hold on, let me get my body out of the way. There we go. Um... Hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Angel is saying, here's a goal. For every time Mia meets her sub-goal, Patekin must play one console game of the chat's choosing. And Patekin is saying, Angel really wants me to play a game I'll never play. Patekin? Uh, you are not alone! The man has been dying to get me to play a Persona game, and he actually has finally won because he's he said, "Play it with, play it with him," and that I can I can sign off on. All right, hold on. I I got here. I don't remember how I got here, but I ah. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get down off of this, honestly. Um, I'm a little concerned that I'm kind of fucked. So what I'm looking for is green. I can, I can teleport to green. Is there anything perhaps down over this edge? Oh, man. Truly, you guys, I don't know from what direction I came. Because <sighs> this is the first time I feel like I'll maybe actually not be able to get out of this. Like, th it seems hopeful here. Here we go. There we go. Okay, Jesus fucking Christ. All right, let's let's plan a different route, shall we? That's interesting. Okay. Um Yeah, unfortunately falling is not an option. I do always think I'm a mountain goat. Petekin. Uh Angela said it's so weird to think that City Skylines 2 will be out before Mia streams the original game. Shish it. Finishing a survival game on Iron Man mode is rough. I wouldn't do it. I don't know Iron Man mode. Is it? Is, is Ronan? Oh, God. Is he messing with me? Ronan's all about Skylines 2. Gonna get it on Game Pass. Move to Steam at some point. He's sure. No, no, Jelly. I'm not. I will play it with Angel. I'm playing it with Angel when it gets played. Okay, so what if we, like, like, that direction is no good, so let's do kind of, kind of this-ish direction. Aaron, hello! Aaron's popping in saying, hi, Chad, hi, Mia. I see you still didn't reach Island 360. Correct. Ronan's saying, Mia playing Persona, I'm here for it. Patekin being extremely Patekin is saying, if I could burn weep games, I would. I will not play any of it. God, Jesus Christ, Patekin. Iron Man mode equals permadeath. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's this. I know it's... T All right, fair. Jelly, it is still playing it. I just, I just want you to know that I'm simply doing it for my angel. <laughs> Do you see this, by the way? I... I I get excited every single time I realize that I have legs in a video game. Yep, I'm being a mountain goat again, and then I'm going to freak out when I can't get down from here. Boop. Bam. 
Bam! Nailed it! Ha ha! Beach is running. Alright, so keep going this way. <gasps> yeah, do you think it's time? It's one thirty. It's not time yet. It's not time yet. It's not time. Watch me at 145 or 150 not be able to find a T-Rex to kill me. Is it looking over here? Bye! I'm moving! Oh god. Okay, he's... Okay. <laughs> the fucking idiot. Okay, hold on. I'll put this away. Okay. <laughs> Jelly's going... <gasps> Rendering me once again correct. 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 Mia has never played a Persona game, Angel has said. But she did see some of Persona 3 and made... <laughs> Curl up into a ball! <laughs> Onto the floor. Jelly, it was the very first time I was there with, uh, with Angel and HW, and, uh, they were both quite quiet about what happens in a Persona game when, uh, when they activate their powers. So the first time I saw it was quite a... A shocking event. <laughs> and I was actually quite, I was quite impressed with their ability to keep quiet and let me have that experience. I just wanted to be near water. That's the only reason I came over here. All right. All right, wait, no, this side. Oh, I'm almost at the next. That's very interesting. Aha, uh -huh, right down there. Okay. Oh no. What is this? Okay. Okay, come on. Oh, we had come at this area from this side. I see. I have been here before. So, could be, I'm actually thinking it might be one of the ones across the way there, but let's see what's in here. Um, this looks... If anyone reads this, please, I'm begging you. Please check in on the family at the beach on the northwest side of the island. I'm not going to make it. And I was their only chance to make it out alive. Please. Anyone. Make sure they get to safety. I'm begging you. Captain Chance Ivy. All right, Chance. So the game I have after this is another one of the games um, that Shiv uh, grabbed for me when he gra he got me the trackers, and it's called Hubris, 
and he wanted me to play these games in the fur in a specific order. Um, the first one was VR VR Monster Awakens. The um, we've already. The world has gone mad. These damn things are everywhere. Little ones aren't so bad, and some of the bigger ones aren't aggressive, but the but medium-sized angry ones, they're pissing me off. I see him heading off to the southeast every Jesus night. Christ. Yes. I'm gonna follow him and kill as many as I can. Chet. Look, I've entered the gravity dimension. Oh, it's not quite working. All right, anyway. I've also been uh, working on my uh, Great Raptor Race video. The video of the, the 10 minutes of terror I went through when I had a couple of raptors chasing after me several streams ago. I am almost finished with it. And I am pretty excited. I've been having a lot of fun putting these videos together lately. Tekin says I should play a Yakuza game. Uh, he played one and two back in the day on PS2. That's about it. Ronin also supports Yakuza. No, no. Aaron's only heard good things about Persona games, but he gets that the style or genre may not be to everybody's liking. Exactly. And Jelly is saying, honestly, the only thing I know about Persona is that everyone is thirsty for the guy in the mask. What is this, she says. <laughs> it's a cliff, Mia, says Patikin. The things you like to hang out at, fuck you. I like looking out over the world. Angel says Persona games have interesting and winding stories, but they're a slow burn for sure. They take place over a full year, mostly playing each day as you go. And then ru running from the raptors, she does a rap. I mean, if I could, I probably would, but I can't. I can only, I can only uh, replicate what I hear in all the songs that I love. Uh, yeah, we did this. Yeah. They're so magnificent. <sighs> I've been taking yeah. notes. Uh -huh. and some pictures because yep. this is the very first time anyone's ever seen these beasts in the flesh it's incredible mm -hmm. seeing them up close and is documenting it? everything i'm sure <gasps> maybe i'll be the jane goodall of dinosaurs i see some huge ones off in the west off to take more pictures i hope someone finds my work someday Eva. if by your work you mean your remains, I'm sure that happened. I really thought it was the case that some of them... Um, I, I thought it was the case that you can't... They, they don't... Trigger again once you've read the notes. But this game is not is not awesome as far as quality is concerned. So I guess it would make sense if that was inconsistent because sometimes I pick up the notes that I've read before and they, they don't re-trigger and then other times like today they do. I believe this came out in 2016 i think i saw that um i thought it was newer than that um but i don't believe so and i feel like that explains some of the some of the glitchiness or the the lower quality even though seven years doesn't seem like i mean it used to be the case for me that seven years wasn't such a long time, but fuck it. Now, now that I'm playing video games, I comprehend how, just how long seven years can be. And I ha have absolutely been enjoying this. Government said a hurricane was coming and we needed to evacuate. But help wouldn't be here for a few days. They're acting weird. Why are they setting up military bases for a hurricane? Andy brought us some food, 
Enough that we have plenty left over. Looks like folks up on the beach further up north could use help with some supplies, so we're gonna pay it forwards and bring them some care packages. Sarah N. Forwards. Oh, I wish I had seen this before I ate all those apples. Oh, here we go. Yep. Nope. What is that in there? Oh, that's my fancy knife. Mia, do you really need... You know what I'm going to do? Hold on. Oh, shit. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Here's what we do. Put that down. Take this shit out. Put this back, because I'm not eating fucking tuna. And not like any of this is really going to matter very soon, but... Fuck it! Okay, so this is cleared out. Yep. Okay, so let's go here. Let's take a nap. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All right, hold on. I need something to drink again. Where the hell is it? Uh... Oh, God. How could it have just totally disappeared? Where am I facing now? There we go. You know you find it when you've knocked it over. All right. Can we open the door from the inside? Yes, let's open this door from the inside. Uh-huh. I hate these doors. They are the absolute worst. Thanks. It's like they're on a spring. They need to reach a certain level of openness before they remain open. But Deacon saying, in other news, I'm excited to see more games uh, at the Gamescom showcases. Angel's asking if there's anything specific but Deacon's hoping for an update on, and Deacon's saying not really anything specific, just a bunch of game games he wants to see more of. Alone in the Dark, for example. We haven't seen much of that other than the demo and a short trailer. Aaron is saying, distribute food in the hut to attract the local wildlife check. Ah, uh, you see through me. Um, let's... Let's head this way just because I don't have to deal with a mountain this way. Uh, let's go around here. So yeah, so folks, all kinds of fun things. So I told you about subscriber uh, uh, challenges coming up. All right, we're gonna get in trouble with this guy. Hold on. How does this work? Wait, no, that's a T-Rex. Does it, does it look very T-Rexy though, does it? Like the head. Did you see it trying to scratch its nose? Boy, I don't mean to be going that over there. Oh my god. Oh, it's so loud. Should I be offended that the T-Rex doesn't find me appealing enough to try to eat?
Yeah, uh, Angel was talking to me about Alone in the Dark. Um, I'm... I'm actually not familiar with it unless the name is just not triggering for me and I have seen it. So is the is the new game a uh is it a sequel? I kind of like this. Here. I like this. Shit. Forgot I had the gun in my hand. <laughs> Not again. Not a fucking again. It's not my fault that this is entire place is fucking cliffs. Bullshit. The original Alone in the Dark is very old, so it makes sense. Okay. And it didn't age well. Oh, good to know. Oh, but Aaron thinks otherwise. He thinks the original Alone in the Dark is still great. The demo is a prologue, and you play as a kid, like 10 to 15 minutes old. 10 to 15 minutes old? The new game is a reboot, similar to what Atari tried in 2008. Wait. Okay. So many things. Um, I, I feel like I need to see a, a trailer for it. No, I'm getting over this. All right, there we go. Okay. Oh wait, that's. I need to turn. Oh no, that's a, that's a cliff too. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to fucking be doing. Watch me now that I want to be able to go out with a big bang. Watch me not see another T-Rex from now until the end of stream. Here, let's go say hi to the Stegosaurus. Let's see how close you can get. Hold on. Hold on. I want to take a picture of it. Look at that. Motherfuckers, be fucking hold. <laughs> hold on, 
I'm so out of breath as if I were actually running. Are we all, do we all fucking see this? Y'all just saw that I flailed the T-Rex to death? I need all of the pictures of this. Looks like a fucking root here. Hold on. Okay. Oh, no! It's whatever this thing is. Okay, well, anyway. Dead. Look at this. Look at this! I am magnificent. How did I run out of ammo? Here, load up on all the other ammo. How do you get the... The other fucking ammo? <laughs> I don't know how to get the other ammo. Well, here, hold on, do I... Here, if I do this... Also... Are there no Jeremy's in chat for this? <laughs> Batikin! Batikin yelled! Hold on, wait. Uh, ad starts in 60 seconds. Yeah, Patikin, it's, um, it's a mod thing. Uh, it shows up for, for mods when there's an ad break coming. Patikin had yelled, quick, find a toilet to hide in. <sighs> And then asked if I'd punched it to death. Aaron said, this kid's is how dinosaurs got extinct. Fox is saying, yeah, Mia got her fucking hands on them. They need to remain... <laughs> rename Jeremy to Jeremia. He didn't bring arms to a fist fight. Aaron, he didn't bring arms to a fist fight. Oh, my God. I should ask the Stegosaurus where all my ammo is. <laughs> Angel says, Mia reenacts scenes from Predator and then asks, how did I run out of ammo? <sighs> no, but I had other ammo because that was lightning ammo. And I truly don't know how to switch it over. That was like, pe like super powered. Oh, I don't know what to do. And at some point, I also lost my table leg. Okay. What what guy is this? What's what's the rooster head guy? <sighs> All right, I guess I'll just carry this. Oh, I just I need to take a million pictures of this dead asshole. Let's see. Hold on, one more, one more. I should stand like maybe over here to get a long view of it. I want to sling this over my shoulder so badly and just carry it somewhere. Ah, oh, that's great. Here, can I cut it? <laughs> can I can I keep a tooth? Okay. Oh, like, can I stab it in the eye? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So let's, let's head somewhere. That's another rise. Um, hmm. Okay, hold on. Let's put the knife here. Oh my god. Seriously, I, I, I mean, I'm absolutely dead now, but what would be great is if I, if I somethinged, if I, um, boy, I have no idea what I'm trying to say. If I were able to find another weapon in one of the places where I left weapons behind. That's all. I also kicked it to death. 
We're gonna have to get a clip of that. I was using, I was flailing with both arms and kicking with at least one foot. What is, what is my health situation? Look at me, fucking full health. <laughs> All right, up and over. Don't fuck with me. Don't tell me I can't go down. Okay, I think it's that. Oh, how do I get up there? Shit. Ah. I've played so many puzzle games that every time I see a trunk with those squiggly lines down it, I think it's some kind of coded message that I have to figure out. All right, so... I believe it's over here. This is the game I was thinking about last night uh, when I was playing Amnesia the Bunker and talking about how um, flashlights actually can make it harder to see. And I realized I wasn't thinking about Amnesia, I was thinking about this game. Because with this game, the flashlight somehow floods, floods uh, the item with light like, it, it works better from afar, because if you go up close, it just kind of blocks the item with with a ring of light, if that makes sense. Fox, did you get a clip? <laughs> if you did, thank you so much. Okay. Um... So, let's, let's just try... <sighs> okay. Of course, this is going to be one of the places that I didn't leave my bow or my fucking machine gun or... Everyone here is sick or injured. The threat isn't as bad now, but... Like that. If they stay, they'll die. But they're too sick and hurt to move. Easy fodder for the things. My only option is to leave them for dead or bring help back to them. I'm not a coward, so I'm heading southeast, as I've heard they had medicine last week. Taylor Gates. Or just Tay. <sighs> God damn. Okay. So this was not it. Yeah, okay. So every time I saw one of those creatures, I assumed it was a T-Rex. But I, I always thought the head looked weird. And I thought, Mia, what do you fucking know about dinosaurs? I'm trying to let go of this door. And it's not allowing me to. Okay. There we go. Oh. Yes, I will. Thank you very much. They're everywhere. It's like bailing water from a leaking yeah. boat. See? Every time we kill one, it seems like another one comes out of the woods to take its place. What if I do this? Nope. We're completely overrun. 
and outmatched. We're going to try and make it to the northern base in the hopes they can protect us. Alex S. All right, what have we got? Okay. Maybe 10 minutes more about... Um, so, yeah, so... Uh, do not forget, folks, you still have time. If you have Game Pass and you are interested in playing um, any Texas Chainsaw Massacre, two to eight players, uh, Shiv and I are going to be playing, and then folks can join us if they want. That'll be in the Discord server. about 3 p.m. Eastern, so in about an hour. Now, if I take this out now, oh. I don't know, I had changed, I had changed ammo once in this game and I just don't know how it works. I don't, Because I didn't want the explosive ammo when it loaded in. And I have hundreds of rounds. No clue. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Cannot believe I kicked that thing to death. Okay. All right, so it does look like we are still going to need the flashlight. Now, that... That door was open already. Let me see... Nope. Oh. Had I gone in here? Oh, I had not. This is a nice little treat. Come on. Seriously? Encountered hostile indigenous lifeform population and drove them back. Tangos are in full retreat to the south. Bring an increased firepower. First Lieutenant Halcyon Wise. Halcyon Wise. Okay, Halcyon. Thanks for letting us know, Halcyon Wise. All right. Stay. Okay, great. All right, so where are we going to finish? That way. I should probably not go this way. I should probably have followed the road. But why change now? All right. All right. Here we go. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. All right. Let's see if I can make it happen again. I'm ready. I'm ready, you guys. Get ready. giving a shit about me? <laughs> Are you just gonna stand there? Yeah, I just need to stand right here. Take one step forward. Oh, this is so disappointing. Huh. 
Uh, am I actually gonna have to close on you? You're backing away! <laughs> That's it! That's it! Uh... Thus endeth the Mia journey in Island 359.